Okay, <laughs> I've still got my old machines here that I'm doing some experiments with, but this is a video about the Vortex Redline solid state drive for Mushkin. Yeah, two terabytes. This is a 2280 Gen 4 four lane M.2 PCIe solid state drive. What can you talk about for an M.2? Well, it's two terabytes. Storage, listen. Storage is about to get weird. We've got PCI Express Gen 5 on the horizon, and there will be stuff for the Gen 5 platform. This is a PCI Express 4.0 SSD, and that means that it's gonna top out at about eight gigabytes per second. Real world testing, nah, closer to 7.1, best case scenario. The write speed, the write speed was a little interesting. So on an empty drive, we're getting, you know, four to six gigabytes per second write, and that's really just the buffer speed. So like 3.1 gigabytes per second, it's a little bit more real world, but it's still really, pretty respectable. The problem, not really the problem, but the coming hell that's about to be visited upon us with storage is that as we move into PCI Express Gen 5 and higher density flash cells and everything like that, the drives that are better at tiering their storage, tiering their cache layers as the drive fills are going to be the ones that perform the best. And yes, like all modern drives, the fuller this drive gets, the slower it becomes. Out the gate, the numbers from Crystal Diskmark are pretty good. Even at a relatively low Q depth, it's like if you have a Q depth of one, 50 megabytes per second. That might seem pathetic, but unless you're rocking Optane or another alternative technology, 50 megabytes is about what you'd expect from a modern four level cell drive. This drive also implements some newer stuff, a little bit updated controller, a little bit updated memory. It's not a terrible drive. If you're moving to a PCI Express Gen 5 system, this would be a great secondary drive, games drive. It's nice and fast and zippy and all that. If you want a low cost, $100 a terabyte, which is a pretty good deal, approximately $100 a terabyte. Flash is probably not gonna get dramatically cheaper unless it's also dramatically worse. So consider that. As the drive fills up, of course it slows down. We have some benchmarks with the drive being uh, four fifths of the way full. Again, same crystal disk mark, which is on top of a file system, just with the drive four fifths of the way full. We sort of uh, filled the drive up and erased it and filled the drive up and erased it and filled the drive up and erased it a few times so the drive would be super confused about what's going on. And then we just sort of said, hey, let's do a benchmark. Again, these are respectable numbers for what we're asking of the drive. And in any of these older systems, it's gonna be perfect. This system can't even do PCI Express 4. This is great. This drive is gonna be faster than that machine all day long. X299, same deal. If you upgraded your AM4 system to have PCI Express 4, then this thing will be able to do seven gigabytes per second read all day long. And the read speed does also slow down as the drive fills. Why is that? It's because each cell is being asked to store more and more information. And the more information an individual cell stores, the uh, slower the analog to digital conversion process that's happening inside the flash memory cell in order to discern the, the ones and zeros from ones and zeros. I don't look forward to our storage future where increasing densities mean that we're going to deal with media that's slower and slower and slower. And as a result, we have to de deal with multiple tiers of storage. Three, four tiers of storage is probably not gonna be atypical on drives within the next two or three years, but this is the only way we're gonna reach four terabytes and eight terabytes at the consumer level, uh, you know, without, without it also costing a fortune. $100 a terabyte and an M.2 form factor with a built-in uh, copper heat spreader label. You should probably use your own heat spreader because this drive will throttle if you just put it in a motherboard naked by itself. But that's enough rambling about that. I'm Wendell, this is level one. This has been a quick look at the Vortex Redline drive from Mushkin.